Why is everybody saying that eating bread is not such a good idea? Have you ever thought about this? Well, it might be because wheat has been recently discovered to be genetically modified. It's one of the main culprits for gastritis, obesity, poor thyroid function, and even sugar control in conditions like diabetes. But why? What are the true scientific reasons as to why wheat should be avoided at all cost? So in today's video, I'm going to reveal 5 important reasons why eating wheat is not such a good idea and why you should be avoiding it if you can. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. And this channel is a conventional doctor treating my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you don't know my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a lot of important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. There's no doubt that eating bread and wheat containing products is delicious. We all know this. How many recipes and excellent foods can we make with them? It's impossible to countify. But why is everybody saying that wheat has become a health concern today? If you remember, wheat and breads were at the bottom of that food pyramid a couple decades ago. The medical and nutritional establishment claimed that we needed close to seven servings of carbohydrates a day. And this has been proven to be terrible for human health. Just terrible. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five important reasons why eating wheat is not such a good idea and why you should be avoiding it if you can. Number one, wheat contains enormous amounts of gluten. You see, gluten is a protein naturally found in some grains, including wheat, barley, and rye. It acts like a binder holding food together and adding a stretchy feeling or quality to the mixture. Think of what, you know, a pizza maker tossing and stretching that ball of dough goes around. The same thing. Now, that's gluten, and it's basically just glue. Now, we've recently seen that gluten is becoming more and more of a problem today. You see, it's thought to glue itself to microscopic fimbriae, sort of like little hairs that we have inside our intestines, that are the same ones in charge of absorption of nutrients in our food. It's clear that gluten can increase intestinal permeability in those with celiac disease, for example, and other intestinal conditions. With most people, this shouldn't be a problem, but we are seeing more and more individuals benefit from the removal of wheat from their diets. Very important, that's the key. Now, if you don't really know if breads or pasta or wheat are good for you, the only way you can actually see if this is true is by removing wheat from your diet for at least a month. If wheat is the problem, you should start to see the benefits in about that month. And once your body has gotten rid of all that glue inside your intestines, things can get a lot better. Now, if you need something natural that can help you improve digestion and thyroid health, which by the way has a very strong relationship with wheat sensitivity, look for Laxi Prune and Metathyroid from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, wheat is high in carbs. Most grains, including wheat, are quite high in carbs and, and you know, it needs to be limited or avoided in order to have a good healthy diet. We should all be considering a low carb diet, by the way, and it's now been seen that it's the healthiest way to prevent a wide array of diseases. Scientists have seen how a high carb diet, meaning one that is high in wheat, breads, cookies, pasta, etc., is a very important risk factor for diabetes, for insulin resistance, for high blood pressure, fatty liver disease, and more. Now, don't forget that wheat also contains other substances that have the power to block your thyroid, another very important thing. This means that the entire body can become stagnated and it reduces its metabolic rate. For some individuals, wheat can therefore cause fatigue, tiredness, and in some instances, believe it or not, be responsible for depressions. I've had patients improve energy and depression just by removing wheat from their diet, breads, pasta, etc. So this is very important. So go ahead and trust me, a high carb consumption with wheat is not a good idea. You get fat, you get sick, you have maybe even mental problems that come with it, all sorts of health conditions. If you need something natural and effective that you can use to improve your metabolic rate and your thyroid health, look for Figurizer and Appleizer from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Very helpful, very effective. Number three, inflammation goes rampant. Unfortunately, the modern wheat we have today 
apparently is triggering inflammation responses in our bodies. Now what most people are experiencing without necessarily realizing it is a mild chronic form of inflammation that typically manifests itself as gluten intolerance, bloating, leaky gut, gas, lethargy, or even allergies. And no, I'm not exaggerating. Wheat can, all, can do all of this. Something that is very wrong with wheat today is the fact that it's been genetically modified. There are so many advantages to eliminating wheat from your diet, you would not even believe it. It's not even funny. This is why so many people today have gone, gone gluten-free, and it works. Now, I guarantee that if you give it a try, you might feel the difference in a couple of weeks and your body starts to feel more energized with more life, less sluggish, better digestion, better immunity, and much more. And I'm not kidding. Inflammation is a very, very important factor in the body of health conditions that we are suffering today in mass quantities. If you need something natural that can help you reduce inflammation and at the same time keep you healthy, Look for Kirk U Health, Metathyroid, and Figurizer from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number four, breads can block your thyroid. I can't think of a worse way to destroy your health than blocking your thyroid right in your neck. And about this, your thyroid is in charge of dictating how much energy or how much every single cell in your body should be working. Now, this means that if you do not have enough thyroid hormones, your cells become stagnated. They stop working, and this obviously puts a halt to your entire metabolic rate. Sugar goes up, cholesterol goes up, your body stops burning the fat it should be burning, and all hell breaks loose. And believe it or not, breads can make all of this happen. Wheat has the power to block your thyroid function. And nobody really knows exactly why this is happening, but apparently this is the root cause. We can really mess up your metabolic reaction and function and thyroid obviously working properly. I suggest you do an experiment. Try doing an elimination diet. Eliminate wheat for a month or two and see the effects and then put it back on your diet and see what changes. The only way you can actually see the changes is by making that experiment at home. If you need something natural that can help you improve thyroid function, very, very important for every single aspect of your health, look for Metathyroid from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number five, wheat has been genetically modified. New reports are showing that close to 80% of our foods have some sort of genetically modified corn ingredient, wheat, and other, obviously, fruits and vegetables. They are catastrophic. 80% of our food has some type of genetically modified organism. And this obviously means that our system is not familiar with new genetically modified organisms that have to be digested, plants, animals, and much more. And will obviously bring a problem. We have inflammation, we have bloating, digestion, problems with uh, immunity, uh, autoimmune diseases, diseases that affect the nerves, your function, all sorts of conditions. If you need something natural that can help you improve damages to your nerves done by problems with inflammation and reactions to what you eat, your cells and your organs, look for Metathyroid and Neuromatrix, which is an excellent supplement for this purpose, at DrLandOfArticom. And help out the channel by using the thumbs up and share with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below, and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line in a point, visit DrLandOfArticom and check out these other videos to stop it from information that might prevent a serious occlusion in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.